All right, hey guys, it's Scissors. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the Book of Shadows because it's been on my mind a lot. Uh, it's something that I'm working with to kind of change how I'm doing it. And so I thought I'd talk about it because why not? I've actually been trying to make this video for a while and have been having difficulty getting words out in a way that, you know, other people can get meaning out of. So whatever happens, here is probably gonna be what gets put up because it's been too long. Um, I do apologize, I am going to be watching the windows because as you can see, I'm not at home, I'm at work. Um, so I'm keeping my glasses on and watching for customers because even though it is negative 50 degrees outside, people still want coffee. Uh, so, <laughs> so yay Alaska. Um, but I swear I'm paying attention to you. It's just, you know, gotta be a good en good employee so uh, if you want to hear more about my thoughts on the book of shadows and how I'm doing it and what have you then keep watching all right so when I hear about the book of shadows there's a couple things that come to mind automatically and these are things that if you grab your Wicca 101 book and open up to the section on tools you find a paragraph on the book of shadows it's about that long yeah about that long um, and these are the things that are generally put in there. It is handwritten, copied from either the Mentor or the Coven Book of Shadows. It is kept absolutely secret. It is usually a black bound book and is the magical journal or the spell book. And that's not really helpful when your handwriting sucks. You don't know where to get a copy of a Book of Shadows to copy and or don't believe or agree with everything in said Book of Shadows that you find to copy. Um, you just put a drawing in there that looks really freaking awesome and you want to show somebody. You don't want your book to be black because you would rather have something a little bit more pretty and... Magical journal. What does that mean? Um, so these vague statements don't really help a whole lot. So really the only way to find out what a book of shadows is, is to have one and see what it becomes for you. Alright, so I've gone through a couple Book of Shadows already, trying to figure out what I want out of it, and how I want to do it, and what I want it to look like, and so on and so forth. If you guys have seen my other video about the Book of Shadows, I have my big ol' purple one with the stars on it, and it's all hand-bound, and uh, I made it myself. I no longer have that. It is 3,000 miles away in a box. Not having that for so long, I have been looking for... I've been looking to start a new one, and I've tried a couple different things, and have had to really sit down and think about what exactly I want out of my book. I want it to be handwritten, because I'm an artist. I love to play with paper, I love to play with ink, I love to draw things, I like pretty lettering. Um, I, I, I like to, I like the hands-on approach. Uh, I like to play, and I like things to be pretty, so. For me, that's a big thing, is to have it handwritten. Uh, I want only the most used, most meaningful things to go into it. So things that I use very regularly, things that pertain to my practice, to my area, um, because a lot of things change when you go so far north, and organized for quick reference, uh, because I don't want to have to go through 20 books to find the information that is pertinent to my practice when it comes to Imbolg, which is coming up soon. Um, it, it takes forever, I read a lot of information that isn't pertinent to me, and I would rather have read those things, picked out what I needed, and figured out what I'm using, and put that in my Book of Shadows. I also want to be able to edit my Book of Shadows, which doesn't go very well with that whole, you know, first part about wanting it to be super pretty and artsy and playing with the paper and all that, but it's really helpful when you're changing things as often as I am. And so I have opted to go with a computerized Book of Shadows. It's a file on my computer with a bunch of Word documents, and there you go. It's actually really cool, and not something that I ever thought I would have done before. But I really like it. Alright, and I am a huge advocate of citing your sources. I'm not saying that it has to all be in MLA format, I'm just saying that 
it's nice to know where you found things because I'm hoping that the things that you put in your book of shadows are things that you like, things that you agree with, things that resonate with you. Um, and if you want to read more on that, you want to read more of what this particular person had to say, um, it's nice to know where you found that. <laughs> Especially if you aren't one of those people who can pick up a book that you've read once and flip to the exact section where you found something. So having the page written down is kind of nice, or at least the chapter, or even the book, because there are things that I wish I knew where they came from, but I don't remember, <laughs> because I didn't write it down. Or even if you end up getting into a discussion, or goodness forbid, an argument with somebody about magic, it's nice to at least have somewhere where you have some sources written down um, to back up your arguments. Even if you can't give it to them right then and there, uh, you know where you can find it. Now when it comes to keeping the Book of Shadows secret, I both agree and disagree. I don't think that it's all information that has to be kept secret. We can't tell anybody about what we're doing because, you know, it's not published in 20 million books already. It, it's not like somebody knowing what the color red means to me is going to be dangerous. I guess it could be seen as dangerous for somebody else to read my Book of Shadows, purely for the fact that they could probably misconstrue what I'm writing pretty easily. I am writing that book for myself. I am my own intended audience. I know how to convey information to myself pretty easily, most of the time. I know what kind of language is appropriate for myself, and I know my own prior knowledge. So unless somebody knows the things that aren't written in there already, unless they have that prior knowledge, they might walk away with an idea that I didn't mean for them to have. Uh, you know, it's written for me in my own language that I understand. I speak differently with other people than I do with myself. Also, it's not really anyone else's business what goes on in my own spiritual life. You know, my relationship with the gods and my color correspondences, you know, don't really matter to anyone else. Sorry. If you want to have discussions, um, and conversations and watch my YouTube videos, that's totally cool. I love that. But I'm also going to word things in a different way with you than I do with myself. So it's not like I'm super secretive of my book and you can't look at my pretty pictures because they're mine. It's just really not anybody else's business what's in there. You know, the Book of Shadows is supposed to be something to have fun with. At least I think so. If I were to give anybody any bit of advice, uh, if you're just starting out, uh, you're working on your first book of shadows, and you don't know what to put in there, and, you know, have fun with it. You know, allow yourself to play a little bit. Uh, put the information in there that you actually use. Read the articles that you're printing off from the websites, or don't even print it off. Just make bullet points of the important bits of information. Uh, and write things clearly, especially if it's something that you're going to be reading out loud um, during a ritual, because trying to read your own handwriting kind of kills the moment if you can't. So. Alright guys, as always, if I have missed information, I've, you know, said something poorly or completely wrong, or if you just think of something that's really awesome that you want to share on this topic, put it down in the comments or send me a message or, you know, what have you. I love hearing from you guys, and I'm sorry I don't make more videos. I feel really guilty about that, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you think. Uh, mucho love and blessed be. Bye.